Have you ever stumbled upon a film that left an indelible mark on your memory? One such cinematic gem from 1971, Vanishing Point, has captivated audiences for decades with its relentless pursuit of a singular goal much like its enigmatic protagonist, Kowalski driving a white Dodge Challenger from Colorado to San Francisco. This iconic road movie, directed by Richard C. Serafian, not only offers a high-octane thrill ride but also raises questions about freedom, the open road, and the pursuit of the American dream. As we delve into lesser-known facts and anecdotes about this classic, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, fasten your seatbelt, let's explore the fascinating world of Vanishing Point. In the 1971 movie Vanishing Point, a 1970 Dodge Challenger R, T cars were used during production, but by the end of filming, only one remained. The Challenger in the film had Colorado plates with the number OA5599. This iconic car chase film, directed by Richard C. Serafian, featured Barry Newman as Kowalski and Dean Jagger as the snake charmer, Prospector. An interesting coincidence is that both Jagger and Newman shared the same birthday, November 7th. These details add to the mystique and history of this cult classic movie, known for its thrilling car chase sequences and enigmatic storyline. Vanishing Point has remained a notable part of cinematic history due to its unique style and memorable moments. The lone Challenger RT that survived the intense filming process has become a symbol of the film's enduring legacy, and the Colorado Plates, OA5599, are a recognized symbol among its fans. In conclusion, Vanishing Point from 1971 is a classic film that continues to captivate audiences with its high-speed action and intriguing story and the facts surrounding the Dodge Challenger RT and the shared birthday of the actors only enhance its reputation. In the 1971 movie Vanishing Point, an interesting detail stands out. The speedometer and tachometer are never shown. Only the fuel gauge is visible. This choice adds to the film's sense of tension and mystery as the audience follows the journey of the protagonist, Kowalski, who's driving a Dodge Challenger from Colorado to California. Without the traditional speed and RPM indicators, viewers are left in suspense about the car's velocity, emphasizing the thrill and intensity of the high-speed chase. Additionally, it's worth noting that the film had an alternate version released in the UK, including scenes with Charlotte Rampling as a hitchhiker, which were deleted in the US release. The DVD version provides the opportunity to experience both versions, shedding light on the differences in the narrative and character interactions. Finally, it's amusing to learn that the squad car rollover during a stunt was anticipated by the stuntman, Kerry Lofton. He had warned the director, Richard C. Serafian, and the cinematographer, John Alonzo, about the rollover. Serafian even joked about knowing where to position the camera. This behind-the-scenes insight adds an element of humor to the movie's production, highlighting the teamwork and coordination required to bring the thrilling car chase scenes to life. In summary, Vanishing Point is a 1971 film known for its unique omission of the speedometer and tachometer in the car scenes, its alternate UK release, and the humorous anticipation of a stunt by the stuntman. These details contribute to the film's lasting appeal and make it a classic in the world of car chase movies. In the 1971 movie Vanishing Point, director Richard C. Serafian faced budget challenges. He originally made the film for $1.3 million, but executive producer Richard Zanuck took a liking to it. This led to an increase in the budget by $80,000. To enhance the film's aesthetic, Zanuck hired eight teams of Dolby artists to work on the Challenger car. In the end, Serafian humorously mentioned losing 2.5 points, which he referred to as vanishing points. This budgetary twist added an interesting behind-the-scenes aspect to the making of the film. In the 1971 movie Vanishing Point, director Richard C. Serafian had originally wanted Gene Hackman to play the role of Kowalski. However, the studio, 20th Century Fox, insisted on Barry Newman for the part. This decision by the studio marked a crucial turning point in the film's production. Despite Serafian's initial choice, the studio's insistence on Barry Newman ultimately led to the creation of the iconic character of Kowalski, a character that left a lasting impact on the film and its legacy. 
This casting decision not only influenced the character's portrayal, but also shaped the overall direction and tone of the movie. Barry Newman's performance as Kowalski became one of the defining elements of Vanishing Point, and the film's enduring appeal can be attributed in no small part to his portrayal of the character. The studio's insistence on Newman turned out to be a pivotal moment in the film's history, ultimately contributing to its status as a cult classic. Vanishing Point remains a celebrated action film, and its influence can be seen even today. Its unique storyline, memorable characters, and iconic car chase scenes have left a lasting impact on the world of cinema. Bruce Springsteen's revelation that Vanishing Point is his favorite action movie only serves as a testament to the film's enduring popularity and its place in the hearts of movie enthusiasts. In conclusion, the casting decision that saw Barry Newman play the role of Kowalski in Vanishing Point was a defining moment in the film's production, and has played a significant role in its enduring legacy as a classic action movie. Entertainment Weekly ranked the 1971 movie Vanishing Point as number two on their Guilty Pleasures, Testosterone Edition list in their March 30, 2007 issue. This ranking speaks to the enduring popularity and cult following of the film. Vanishing Point, directed by Richard C. Serafian, is known for its intense car chases and the enigmatic character Kowalski. The film's appeal, especially among fans of action and cult cinema, has remained strong over the years. Its inclusion on the Entertainment Weekly list underscores its status as a testosterone-fueled cinematic gem. The 1971 movie Vanishing Point is known for its iconic moments and memorable quotes. One interesting fact is that the Guns N' Roses song Breakdown from their 1991 album Use Your Illusions 2 features Axl Rose quoting lines from the film, including There Goes the Challenger, and But It Is Written monologues. This connection highlights the lasting impact of the movie on pop culture and music, making it more than just a classic film, but a source of inspiration for other art forms. Vanishing Point continues to be remembered not only for its own story, but also for its influence on later generations of artists. The 2004 music video for Audio Slaves Show Me How to Live is in homage to, and follows the plot of, the 1971 movie Vanishing Point. It features clips from the film intercut with scenes of the band in a 1970 Dodge Challenger R, T replicating scenes of Kowalski. This connection between the movie and the music video pays tribute to the iconic 1971 film and its enduring impact on popular culture. As we bid adieu to the cinematic journey through the dusty highways and the soulful, enigmatic landscapes of the 1971 movie Vanishing Point, I invite you to take a moment to reflect. This film, like a vintage roadster, has been a vehicle for our emotions, carrying us on a wild, relentless ride through the essence of freedom and rebellion. Think back to that moment when you first encountered Kowalski, a man with a past shrouded in mystery, racing toward his destiny. Did it ignite a sense of wanderlust within you, prompting you to ponder the open road and the limitless horizon? Or perhaps it stirred something deeper, a desire to break free from the constraints of society and find your own path, your own vanishing point. As the credits roll, I encourage you to share your favorite memories, reflections, or thoughts about Vanishing Point. Was it the exhilarating car chases, the haunting soundtrack, or the enigmatic characters that left an indelible mark on your cinematic soul? How did this film touch your life, and what did it mean to you? Your unique perspective and personal connection to this iconic movie are the fuel that keeps its legacy alive. So, let's keep the conversation going as we collectively navigate the winding roads of nostalgia and cinematic appreciation. Thank you for sharing this journey through Vanishing Point with us. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated. Until we meet again on the cinematic highways of another era, keep those memories alive and keep those engines running.